want you guys to comment down below what you would do in this situation. You know, are we doing it right? Uh, I don't know if it's particularly wrong, but is there a better way? Good morning. Today we are back in the great state of Iowa, in our favorite city, Okaboji, and we are shooting yet another pool. I know you guys would have never guessed that, but we are shooting, looks kind of big. 20 by 40, uh, shallow end, three foot four, slopes down to five foot four. Um, I'm not, I think there is steps on the edge here, maybe four foot, four foot in, steps down. Might be some on that side, not sure yet, but I know for sure there's some steps right here. It is roughly 56 yards. We do eight yard loads. So we're looking at roughly eight trucks, probably nine trucks with the tag load. So super easy setup today. I mean, we are going to pull right up over yonder. We might get a 50 footer down. Oh, we might have to do 85. I was hoping maybe we could just do 60, but yeah, we could probably do 60. We'll find out, but we're going to pull up over there, get the back of the pump over yonder. A little concerned with the access for trucks it is quite tight um i'm not sure if the truck drivers will enjoy pulling it in and out of here through this one spot i'm hoping there is another spot they can drive across but this is it we got pretty fresh concrete um and then we have i mean you're talking, let's just count it out real quick. Three, six, nine, ten feet. And we have literally ten feet from one side to the other. Once they get by here, it's no problem, but it's also kind of steep. I don't want them to get too far that way. It's probably no big deal, but to me, to me, it doesn't look ideal. So hopefully there is another entrance somewhere to make it easier for them. If not, I guess we'll see what happens. But we're gonna pull up and get our 60 to 85 feet of hose out, depending if the uh, the 50 and the 10 work, or if we have to move a little bit back and add a 25 onto it. So let's get set up. Morning, Poppy. Easy money today. Happy birthday, Caleb. Whose birthday? Huh? Whose birthday? birthday? Oh, nice. Black rubber cake. Oh, now, Mom, I pull this out. I'm going to have my hose right here. Okay. And I just don't want to worry about that. Stick it out. Yep. Oh, man. Hey, what? It came a little bit. What? Two, three. Yeah. Teamwork, baby. Yep. What you want? Ooh. I need you to pull this just all the way down there. Where? I said all the way back there. There we go. That should be good. Down. Oh, you just need one actually. Morning, sir. Morning, sir. How's it going? Not too bad. Yourself? I'm good, good. You want an asshole? Yep. I'll grab, I'll grab that for you here in a second. We'll get you a nice, nicer clamp there. And then I'll get you a pin as well. 
그죠? 아, oh, it's okay. Hammer. Bueno. That's spare three inch gaskets, but they're under the seat. And on top of my seat, I got drill. I got clothes to hand out to people. I got hats to hand out to people. I got yard signs. Got a bunch of stuff. So instead of digging, we'll just uh, we'll just steal. Pretty much ready to wrap.
Alright, that's ready to rock. Bent night. Oh. Helps the concrete not oh, yeah. stick to the side. Are you guys about ready? Give me two seconds. Fill my water box.
All right, you gotta peek at the mud. Yep. That looks, that looks all right. Yeah, you can, you can send a little bit. All right, let's prime this sucker out. Give me some breakfast. Yeah, we're about 10, 15 minutes in without, you know, that far. Uh, we walked it. We got it tied off here so she don't make her way in. Pretty sure I got that on film, but just in case I did it. Put that over the top. That should be all right, right there. We got this tied off here. Then we got the pump caddy action on the bridge. So the tie off can go underneath the pumper caddy. That way we're pulling on the base of that and not the top. The top was making it bend so much that it would almost slip off. So that way a lot of strength out of that stake. We got good mud, might be a touch wet, but not too bad.
truck one. Done zone. Got all the way from that corner. All the way here. minutes for this truck, truck to show up so but all is good all is good in this hood Truck two, here's truck three. truck three here we just added two gallons took the psi from about 20 almost 3,000 now we're about at 2400 2500 but it's still sticking great we are still moving a couple foot faster than we normally do with truck three which is good the only way we can get out here because this okaboji is about an hour and a half from Sioux Falls, so I don't want to. I don't want to get home at 8:30, 9 o'clock at night. We left at 5:15 this morning, so it was originally supposed to be at 7 a.m. So then we would have had to leave at like 4:15, 4:30, but it got pushed back to uh, 8 because of inspection. So, all right, we got truck four here truck five i mean three washing out but we got some extras so let's spread it raw one there's still five left in there everybody eats around here
truck just might, it will finish the wall on the, the shallowest, you know, right from about I mean, that little uh, return coming out there from there all the way around. It should finish this top of this wall and then we'll have to get the ladder out so you can get the deep end, the top of the deep end there and the rest of that. So this truck should almost finish the wall Depends on how much mud he used on the stairs. The stairs are going to take a little bit. Be darn close though. Wow, we took the snow fence here and it's triple layered. So it's one, because this snow fence wrapped all the way around here and touched that corner. So we undid that. And I got it triple layered from there to here. So it's one way this way, fold it back that way, and then I fold it back this way. So I'm hoping. pushing about 2100 psi so we are moving some mud it's good it's not even noon not even noon and we're on to the floor and he is this close to being out so uh we're getting him mixing up get him up to about a six now when he pulls up we can just get to the end we don't gotta wait i don't i'm not a big fan of coming from the end but it's coming from the side because then it like he has to pull They want me to pull some out, but I'm like, you can't pull some out because once you come this way, you're gonna need all that to go back down on this side to do it, so. We have some, received some not so good news. The concrete plants conveyor broke, so they cannot get 3 8 rock anymore. So we are gonna do a sand mix. Great. We're ready. So yes, the 
conveyor broke, 3 8 mix, uh, 3 8 P rock mix is, might be out of the equation. Hopefully they fix it. If not, it's gonna be a sand mix. I'm not a big fan of sand mixes. I have pumped sand mixes before and I've had issues. It took us three separate occasions on one pool to Three separate occasions on one pool, three separate days. Went there once, I pumped one truck. I literally clogged 12 times on that one truck. We fought through it. And then I told the guy, I said, hey dude, if, uh, if I plug three times within three minutes, I, you're, you're, we're done for the day because this is the only mix that they're gonna send and it's just not gonna work. So we went with a different, a different uh, ready mix plant who pretty much did the same exact thing. And I told them before we even started that if the mix shows up like it did last time and I plug, you know, fast and a lot, like we're done. Then they finally called the big, the big plant up there and we had to wait for her to get in, have them come out for us. And, uh, and uh, that, it went smooth that day. But, so it might be, might be doing a little, uh, little sand mix here at the end. But we got this stuff wet. situation you know are we doing it right uh, I don't know if it's particularly wrong but is there a better way I mean in a situation like this while you're doing it you know you don't have a whole lot of time to think so you just try to come up with the best plan and uh, go from there so if there's a better if you guys think there's a better option Please let me know, comment down below. We're learning, you know? That way, if, if I'm, you know, if I'm with a different pool company and that happens, I can tell them exactly what to do. Then nobody has to think. So, again, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if there's a better option than uh, what we came up with. All right, we got the Sandy mix. It's literally just sand in Portland. We threw a slick pack, it's only six yards. We threw a slick pack in there to hopefully, uh, hopefully lubricate it a little better, not have to worry about plugging up. So far we're doing all right. But well, we took the 50 footer off took the nozzle off just, to, just as the least amount of resistance as possible like I said before I've had issues with sandy mixes that went amazing now I'm not saying the slick pack did the job, but I'm gonna say that throwing that slick pack in there did the job. But no, that went amazing, had zero issues. I actually like them pouring the floor that wet. It just looks so nice and smooth. But 
We are gonna stay hooked up for a couple more minutes to make sure they got enough mud to finish everything. But then uh, we're gonna suck a ball back. Since we only got 35 feet of hose out, we're gonna try to suck the ball back and then we can disconnect and washout is over there across the street. All right, we're gonna suck it back. You gotta get it wet though. We'll get this wrapped up and we'll go over to washout.